and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA checkout for 20% off your order. All right, guys, so there is a lot to... All right, guys, so there's a lot to go over. Obviously, we have tons and tons of players, guys. There's so many things to go over, so I'm going to try to get to this as quickly as possible so you guys can get this up quickly. So we got Sam Darnold, 83 right here. Decent stats, nothing too great. I'm obviously not going to go over all the stats here because it would take forever, and you could see them on the screen right there. You can pause if you'd like. 86 throw short. A few 80s in there. We got Dexter Lawrence, rookie for the Giants. Again, stats aren't great. Royce Freeman, 83 speed. That's all I got to read. And Anthony Hitchens, all 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s. A little bit of 80s in there. Nothing too great, guys. Guys, this is a very big promo not gonna lie then we got bradley roby 84 88 speed 87 excel 87 agility honestly really athletic not gonna lie could be decent on a budget budget squad dj fluker right guard for the seahawks 86 strength 85 awareness 80 pass block 82 pass block power could be a decent budget lineman nothing too great there kawan williams 85 overall cornerback 86 speed 89 excel 88 agility 86 jumping again just like bradley roby could be a decent budget athletic cornerback and then Christian Kirk, who we did just get a card for with the Team of the Week hero, which kind of weird they gave us one of these. 88 speed, 82 jumping, 82 catching. Decent budget card. Other than that, not too much use. Get to all the Meteor stuff. Next, we got 86 Taco Charlton, 77 speed, 86 Excel, 80, 78 strength, 86 tackle, 88 play rec. And not too great. Not great rushing, not great block shedding. Then we got wide receiver Cole Beasley for the Buffalo Bills. 83 speed, decent route running, decent catching, but again, too slow for a card. This looks like a really bad Julian Edelman card. Shaq Thompson, 87, 82 speed, 83 excel, 72 strength, 88 tackle, 84 play rec. Decent block shed, not great. Gonna be, gonna be honest, unless he has, unless he has a really good zone, this card is not that great at all. And then Frank Ragno, the center for the Lions. Um, good run blocking, decent pass blocking, decent strength. Honestly, a very well-rounded card. I would not argue against if you wanted him on your team. Now here we go, 88 Kevin Bayard, 85 speed, 89 zone. Other car, other stats kind of irrelevant. Can't really hit, can't play man or tackle but he has good zone 88 Cortland Sutton 87 speed 87 jumping 83 catching 88 catching traffic 91 spec catch and then 80 short route running medium route running cards decent decently athletic decent catching actually pretty good catching TJ Watt 79 speed 84 excel 80 tackle 89 play rec 89 finesse move and 83 blocks this card's actually not that bad would I pick him up for my team probably not but he's really not that horrible of a card and then Andrew Whitworth 87 strength high 80 pass blocking low 80 run blocking cards well rounded so that's a plus on that card next we got the first turkey trotter which is important because these are the card guys if you don't already know by the way i'm getting really hot so i'm gonna take the sweatshirt off don't feel like getting any comments about that but let's keep going on so dak prescott turkey trotter the way turkey trotters work guys is pretty much they get upgrades based on their performances on thanksgiving so if dak prescott does none of the above see the objectives on his card if he does any of those objectives his overall goes a plus one per objective so if he does none of them on Thanksgiving, after the games are done the next day, he will become auctionable at a 90 overall. If he gets 250 passing yards, he'll become a 91 overall. And if he gets 250 passing yards and a touch, three touchdowns, he'll become a 92 overall. So, not the hardest objective to reach for a quarterback, but those are the objectives for him. He has an 81 speed, 87 throw power, 90 throw short, 86 throw mid, 86 throw deep, 87 30, 84 no on the pressure, 87 throw on the run, and 85 play action. Now, what sucks about Dak is that he does not have a power card. And he has a low speed, which means he needs an 82 speed for escape artist. So he cannot get escape artist. So the only way he can get escape artist is if he hits one of those objectives and his stats go up. Next card, we got Micah Hyde, 90 overall. His objectives are four plus total tackles and one plus interception. He's got 85 speed, 86 excel, 92 play rec, 91 zone. Really bad hit power, good man. He's kind of like a very slow cornerback. I'm not a fan of this card at all. I think even as a 92 overall, this card will only be decent. It's like a very bad version of... Devin McCourty, so I do not recommend him. Next, we got Calvin Ridley, 90 overall wide receiver. 40 plus receiving yards, 100 plus receiving yards. Honestly, very doable for him. Obviously, I'll make a video going over the best turkey to try for you guys to choose if we want to, you know, if we get to that point tomorrow. 91 speed is really fast. Decent catching, decent route running. Very well rounded. Could be a very good card. If he gets both of his objectives, this guy could be pretty insane, not going to lie. Next, we got Roquan Smith as the other turkey trotter. Six plus total tackles, one plus sacks. And by the way, guys, all these guys are players that play on teams on Thanksgiving, so just keep that in mind. So if you're watching those Thanksgiving games on Thanksgiving, kind of could be like a little fun fantasy aspect if you pick up these cards. Six tackles, one sack, 87 speed, 89 excel, 90 hit power, 81 zone, 80 tackle. Guys, if he gets his 92 overall and his speed gets a little closer to 90 and his zone gets like an 85, like above 90 hit power, this card could be one of the best linebackers in the game. So keep an eye out for him. 
Next, we have TJ Hawkinson. By the way, guys, he does have a rookie premier card. So for all you rookie premier owners, you will be getting his 90 as soon as he comes out. And don't forget, you can also get his 91 or 92 if he does go up in overall. So that's pretty cool for all your, um, I was gonna say all your turkey trotter guys. This will be pretty cool for all of you TJ Hawkinson rookie premier owners. Now, next on the list, guys, we got, let's see, let's see. I just did something really weird with this. We got right there, Marshawn Lattimore. 90 overall cornerback one pass defended and then one interception will be his two so if he deflects a pass or just breaks up a catch he will get a plus one overall and then an interception his stats are okay he's got 91 speed 92 excel so if he gets his 92 his stats will be pretty insane speed wise and athleticism but his zone will not be able to hit threshold most likely and his man will be great but his pressing zone is too low for my liking i do not really recommend this card next we got tom brady the goat himself he's got 55 speed that is crazy low 88 throw power that's a little too low for me too and then 94 throw short 91 throw mid 85 throw deep 76 throw on the run 83 throw under pressure i think this card's horrendous quite honestly guys and by the way this 92 brady is not a turkey trotter he is one of the turkey stuffer cards which are the cards you can upgrade i'll get into all that as we get to the screenshots but for the time being these are the full stats and by the way we will not have an odell or Earth screenshot until the end of the video because they were late on that so i'll come back around that to the end of the video next we got quentin nelson and actually i will explain this now so you guys don't get confused we're going to get if you guys have played uh any promo before typically you get low overall cards you can power up on like they've had this for christmas halloween they've had it for thanksgiving we're going to get 76 overall players like 76 quentin nelson 76 tom brady 76 odell and you have to put power up collectibles into them that essentially work like power ups you put the collectibles into them they slowly increase in overall you get these from solos you get these from playing the game um you're going to get one for free from playing the solo challenges by the way so these cards i'm showing you these 92s you can get one of them for free from playing the solos which i'll show you in the screenshots and pretty much you also want to be getting the turkey trotter cards to upgrade them and that's the only way you can acquire these as of now they are not auctionable so you cannot sell them let's keep that in mind now quentin nelson 95 strength really good 86 pass block 88 pass block power 85 pass block finesse 88 run block 90 run block power 87 run block finesse i'm not the biggest fan of this card if you were to power up and chem up all the way he could potentially get to above 90 run blocking with close to 90 pass blocking but i think there's probably better options such as gene upshaw next we got joey bosa 80 speed really good 86 excel really good 91 play rec amazing 96 finesse move and 88 power move okay so he has 79 block shedding so this card's gonna be horrendous in the run game but as a pass rusher if you get this guy powered up and chemed up all the way he will have a 99 finesse move so you could quite honestly have one of the best pass rushers in the game so definitely keep a lookout for him as one of the better guys to get next we got ryan kerrigan left outside linebacker 92 overall 77 speeds a little low 83 excel is really good 83 strengths really good for a out ryan kerrigan card now 90 tackle is amazing 93 play rack's amazing 91 power moves amazing 82 block shed decent so he's going to be a top tier pass rusher i think i'd rather still have von miller though because von miller is obviously but i rather instead of wasting my choice on kerrigan i don't think i don't think he's much more of an upgrade over von miller if at all any next on the list we got aj bouye by the way all these 92s are the card you can choose from for your free player so i will be doing a ranking video for this coming tomorrow guys stay on the lookout for that now aj bouye 92 overall he's got 88 speed 93 excel decent athleticism 90 jumping 90 agility 91 play rec 89 man 89 zone 91 press guys this looks just like jalen ramsey but i think ramsey actually might be a little bit better so i'm not the biggest fan of this card either next we got adrian almost jr free save strong safety for the packers typically a good blend of everything he has 91 speed 90 excel which is amazing 93 play rec 88 pursuit 80 man 90 zone 85 hit power powered up or chemmed up all the way his car is going to be a beast he won't be better than tillman though which is why there's not so much to talk about him i would not recommend him as one of your choices then we got michael irvin so this is the first master this is the offensive thanksgiving master guys this card to get this card you're going to have to put in the four of the turkey stuffers which are like the 92 overall cards that i showed you which is without Ertz or Adele yet i'll show you that later in the video but keep that in mind when we get to the collections he's got 92 speed 93 jumping 90 catching 92 catch and traffic 92 spec catch 91 short route running 88 medium route running and 90 deep route running so powered up and chemed up all the way this card's gonna have like 93 speed all mid 90 catching stats and all above 90 route run there's going to be the best wide receiver hands on in the game I'm gonna have to get my hands on this card he's going to be an amazing card i'm actually kind of scared to see how good he's going to be online he's probably going to be better than randy moss quite honestly next we got night train lane guys yes that is the defensive master for the harvest promo 91 speed and he's a cornerback 91 excel 92 agility 93 jumping so he's gonna be one of the most athletic corners in the game he's usually right there with Deion sanders and he's gonna have 89 play rec 88 man 93 zone 90 press so powered up chemmed up all the way he's gonna have a high zone high above 90 man well above 90 press all above 90 stats he's gonna be pretty much Deion sanders with a press and more strength and he's gonna have a good hit power as he usually does uh next on the list we got harvest welcome pack so when you initially open up the promo tomorrow you're gonna get this pack that's the night train lane you can play with 
and do not quick sell this turkey stuffer called tip you can put this into a collection for a free turkey stuffer card such as 76 odell 76 brady are the ones you can upgrade so make sure you hold on to that do not quick sell that now this is the pack when you open it when you put the tip in you're going to need a turkey stuffer pack and you can take any of these guys and you can use these guys and you can power them up to get their full card which you're going to need to get collectibles for but you can eventually get all of them if you go and say if you add gold harvest players you can get all of them eventually if you accidentally sell the tip obviously next we got the harvest missions right here which you can see take a road trip to the turkey bowl earn a 90 to 92 nat overall harvest player so obviously you can get one of them for now free like i told you guys as we go down this other milestones again to show you guys a little bit what the sellers look like one of the tier one stuff is 82 to 85 elite harvest players so we will be getting some free low mid elite tier harvest players next we got what the solos look like it's going to be like a journey setup or like a gauntlet setup pass for 25 yards in this drive game ends and from what i did read is that you don't have to actually get a lot of stars to get the free player i don't know how true that is but they did say you should have to finish the solos you don't have to people play them on easy we'll see how true that is tomorrow when we do see the eventual milestones here just so you can see the 92 card art for odell and brady i don't think that's the finished product because that's not what they look like on the other page but again we'll know the full thing tomorrow Next, we got the food collectibles. If you guys have ever played the Harvest Promo before, you know how this works. The food collectibles are always a big part of Madden. There's going to be turkey, canned yams, rolls, uh, stuff. And you guys always know how this works. You get the collectibles. You typically put those in for like things like cornucopia packs and things like that. And we'll see, obviously, all that as this continues. But collectibles such as food are typically, a lot of them are from packs and solo challenges. So we have to hope we can get these. And these are used to upgrade our turkey stuffers. So this is what you use to upgrade the cards to their 92 overall cards. So these are going to be very important. Hopefully it's not just money spent. You can actually actually get them without doing that. Now here you see the missions to actually upgrade them. Feed turkey stuffer Tom Brady, corn cranberries, corn cranberries, green beans, stuffing, turkey, candy yams, and gravy in that order to power them up to a 92 overall. So you're going to have to collect all those. Obviously we have to see how we get them. You can get them from the store packs for them. I, I don't know if you can get them from Solos yet. We're going to have to see. But I think they're all going to be similar requirements next we got the tiers for the mission milestone just take a look at that real quick you guys already know how that works that's just what you get from getting stars so obviously the more stars you get will definitely benefit the tiers some of these guys will be super small it's going to be like themed solo challenges like they used to have last year for the like last year for the october promo and hollow and well the halloween promo and the thanksgiving promo they did do small players like this so stay on the lookout for that it's probably like the backyard games this is the set the harvest which contains the master and the all-stars we'll get into right now here you can see the Thanksgiving Day All-Stars, the Harvest Masters, the Turkey Stuffers, and the Exchange Chef. Now, the Turkey Day All-Stars are like the Turkey Trotters, which is the DAC in them. This is the Nitro Land, the Michael Irvin. This is going to be the Turkey Stuffers where you upgrade them, and the Exchange Sets are obviously the exchange for like collectibles and the pieces. Now, the set for the Turkey Trotters, which I say the All-Stars, it's 386 89s and 282 85s. Those are going to be the requirements to get one of them. The price of these cards might not seem like a lot, but when they come out, they will be more than usual because obviously people want to be able to get them. So they're going to be more rare than usual, even though they're lower overalls. So next we got Michael Irvin. It's going to take Brady, Odell, Ertz, and Nelson. So the offensive turkey stuff is going to be the ones you need for them. Now, if you do this set, you do get back all four of them that plus Michael Irvin and a power for Michael Irvin. So remember... To get these turkey stuffers, they typically come now, so it just like behooves you to do it anyway. So let's say you get your free Odell, and then you also get enough collectibles for Tom Brady. You might as well finish two others, because then you get them all back Nat, and then you get Michael Irvin for free, which you can then sell and make back your coins, which I'll go over all those sets tomorrow for you guys, obviously. So now here we get to this set. It's going to take Joey Bosa, Kerrigan, Booyah, and I Amos, and obviously same thing, same thing. You get a power-up, you get their full card, and obviously you get everything else that comes with it, such as the Nat cards. And then next... We got the main course collectibles. These are going to be the collectibles you put in. So you can put 382 to 85 Harvest players in and 679 70, 77 to earn a main course collectible. So obviously, if you guys have an extra bunch of extra players, you can toss them in here, get as many collectibles as possible, and so on and so forth. Now, onto the next screenshot. We got the store packs. on the 24 Harvest bundles going to cost you 1,200 points, which I believe somewhere is around like $100. Harvest packs, 82 to 89 is going to be with money. So there's going to be like your dollar pack that we always get offered that could potentially have good value. If you pull an 89 this is really good value obviously depends on your luck guys and now let's go get those odell stats real quick all right guys so real quick show you guys the odell stats before we head on out of this video we got the 90 speed 92 jumping 90 catching 85 catching traffic 92 spec catch 90 short route running 87 medium route running 87 deep route running powered up and chemmed up and everything this card is going to have above probably 90 route running all around the board if you power up and chem up properly catching traffic is going to be a little bit low but his catching is going to be great his spec catch can be great his speed is going to be great i'm not really a fan of this card to be honest with you i thought he would have been a little bit faster a little bit better 
stats aren't quite amazing let's go check out zach Ertz real quick Ertz has 81 speed 71 strength 94 catching 91 catching traffic 90 spec catch 92 short route running 89 medium route running and 63 run blocking card looks kind of like his much superstar slightly faster not the biggest fan of this card but he is kind of like a slow wide receiver which could actually be pretty beneficial at tight end all right guys so that is about it for the video thank you so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy gonna keep this outro short thank you for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video make sure there's likes comment subscribe run that like button up as quickly as possible boys thank you i'm out